In this video, we'll be using the sketch tool in order to draw cutouts, for example, when you need USB ports in your design. We'll be using Cartesian dimensions in order to make sure your ports are exactly cut out and accurate. Now that we have an enclosure with two walls, we need to include cutouts for our ports. For example, a Raspberry Pi has ports such as LAN and also USBs. So to do this accurately, we are going to use something called Cartesian dimensions to cut out our ports. So we're going to be working with this face. So I'm going to select it and click plan view to give us a nice view of our working area. I'm also going to go from 3D mode into sketch mode because I need to draw my cutouts out. In order to get maximum accuracy, we need to select Cartesian dimensions. So if you select rectangle in the sketch toolbar and then Cartesian dimensions, you'll see this small toolbar on the left hand side appear. If you select the second option, which is a start point for your Cartesian measurements, then you will see a blue circle with a yellow dot in the middle. This indicates the point at which you'd like to start measuring from. So I am going to start from this outer edge where these two, where these two points intersect. Okay, so I'm going to click once, and then start dragging this way, my cursor, without clicking. I'm then going to hit my tab key to enter the dimensions I would like to move. The first dimensions are 19, tab minus 5.3. And if you click enter, you'll be presented with the start position so this is without clicking, it's drawing out my rectangle based on the start position. So I'm going to enter the dimensions of my rectangle. 16.8 by minus 16.5. And there you go. We actually have a square cutout for our first port accurately in the right location. Next, we need our second cutout, which will be located next to this first one. I'm going to go back to where we previously clicked on the second option to get a starting position for measurement. I'm going to click once and start dragging towards where I want to measure. The measurements here will be 40 millimeters. Tab minus 5.3 which will bring our starting position just next to where we previously finished drawing. Then you enter the dimensions for your rectangle or square. This will be 15.8 tab 14.1. And there we have it, two accurately drawn ports. The problem with this now is that they are just 2D drawings. So now we need to go into 3D mode. I'm going to click home. And as you can see there, if this is printed, there will still be plastic within these holes. So what we do with the pull tool selected, simply click inside the rectangle, click and drag. If you click and drag, behind towards the opposite wall, you'll see that this actually hollows the holes out and you're presented with your port cutouts.